Hey there, it's Simon here, how are you? Today we're gonna to talk about eight tips specifically tailored to the older guitar learner. How to stay motivated and more. Let's kick it straight off with number one. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications of new lessons as they turn up. All right, number one. You've gotta be patient with yourself. Be kind to yourself. Don't rush into things thinking you're gonna get it in two seconds flat because you saw dudes all your life in pubs playing guitar. It's not actually that simple. You can start off with a bunch of pretty easy sorts of things just to get yourself familiar with the guitar. Things like this where you play consecutive chromatic notes. Get hold of the guitar first. Make sure you're using the correct technique. Your thumb is on the back of the neck like this and you haven't got the whole guitar held with your left hand. Things like that are gonna really, really help and help you get comfortable with the guitar. When you start trying to play chords, just play on the change, right? At first, don't try and think you can kind of do that. Just play one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. switching between the chords. And just generally be kind to yourself. Try not to get too annoyed with yourself or frustrated because that's why there's so many second-hand acoustic guitars available. All right, number two. Talking about second-hand guitars available, choose a decent guitar. Now, you don't have to go and spend thousands of dollars on a brand new guitar. All you need to do is make sure it's playable. I've taught loads of people with pretty ordinary guitars and it makes it way, way harder and you are more likely to give up. Spend a little bit more if you can and try and get the best guitar that you can. All right, number three, Eruption by Van Halen is not the first song you learn on the guitar. Select songs you wanna learn, but you know, try and suit them to your ability. I have lots of people who wanna learn crazy stuff at the beginning, but we can, you can do that. You do arrangements and easier versions. Check out my lesson on Hallelujah, five ways to play Hallelujah, for example, for an idea around how you can play that song immediately, the first minute you pick up the guitar. Number four, build a habit of, of basically practicing five minutes a day. You know, you don't have to sit hours and hours and hours practicing these things, you know, major scales, and, you know, pentatonic scales and getting around the chords. Just if you don't have time, you definitely have two minutes just to pick the guitar up and do this. Okay, so number five is get a guitar stand. Um, make sure it's not under the bed in the case because that's a massive barrier to you pulling it out. The easier it is to access, the more likely you are to play. Number six is, and I know this is really easy, but try not to get bogged down in the details at the beginning. If you can get a sort of a sketch of the song going that you're trying to, trying to learn first, that's probably better instead of obsessing about this one tiny bit that goes in the tune or something like that. So just concentrate on the big picture at first, get that and then focus in on the smaller details. Number seven is to consider a structured planned approach. What I always suggest to students is basically spend two, three minutes doing a warm up, something like this, right? Or a scale. And it will just get your brain into the guitar. And then you practice the song that you're trying to learn. And then for being a good student, you play all the stuff that you want to play after that. Always the answer, right? So you have a reward for what you've done. And the final thing is just to stick to one or two things at a time. Trying to learn 15 songs all at the same time is gonna to be too hard, so just try and stick to one thing at a time and you will have much more success. So, in summary, my tips, my eight tips for learning guitar and staying motivated are, be patient with yourself, choose a decent guitar, select songs that suit your ability level. I'm not trying to say here that you pick things that are too easy, but don't pick things that are ridiculously tricky. Maybe leave Cliffs of Dover for another day. Okay, then build a habit of around daily practice. Five minutes even is fine. Get a guitar stand so the guitar's always looking at you. Structure your learning. Have a plan of what you're going to try and do every single time you sit down and practice. And try and commit to just a few things. And then if you, you know, you can still cycle them. You don't have to sit slavishly learning just that one song. But if you just focus on a few things, you'll have great success. So good luck with the guitar. If you have any questions, please just send me an email, simon at simonmorell, and I'll see you for another video soon. Cheers, all the best.